I would like to use this space up to 10 lectures in life. And when the volume will be hit the maximum 10, I will archive them to another YouTube channel of mine. First lecture is for musicians. As I came up on a year when I was making research on Antonio Barentano, Beethoven's Immortal Beloved. I was trying to obtain a copy of Pax Manuscript of Diabelli Variation, Opus 120, dedicated to Antonio Barentano. And I found out that we could only examine working manuscripts of this particular work. And I found it strange. I got it that the original complete manuscript has gone to private archives and been stuck to it, and therefore it lost public access. But what we should find from this fact? I think that this should be a vivid proof that this work was very important and personal for Beethoven and perhaps Beethoven dedicated the original complete manuscript to Antonio Brentano and Brentanos for keeping the copy. Perhaps you can see Antonio Brentano should have been Beethoven's immortal beloved only, even only from this factual episode. Then you proceed to further research and you get the answer because as it is always with love, love appears, the path should have been simple and straight. If I quote from the description of an excellent and only website article on this issue, issue she must be a woman well known to Beethoven in Vienna. She must have been in Prague in the first week of July 1812 and she must have been in Bohemian Spa, town of Karlsbad, in the weeks following. Antonia, with her husband and one of her children, arrived in Prague on 3rd of July, 1812, on their way to Karlsbad. Beethoven had arrived two days earlier. The love affair took place on the night of 3rd July. Beethoven left for Teplitz the next day. Issue is an issue. I published something, like a child. So that should, so that should be solved after puzzling. Likewise, with Jane Sterling, that famous attractive portrait of herself in dark blue dress will enchant you. And you will have doubt that she might have been Chopin's late lover. I don't know the answer for this particular question, as there is no published answer to this question. But Chopin has described Miss J. Starling as being himself in his letter. Then you should summarize that, at least. J. Starling should have been somebody who had tremendous impact on Chopin's life including the possibility they were lovers in Kedden for a certain period of Chopin's late life. At least you can and you should consult and read only published book on Ms. Jane Stalin issued on 1960 in only 500 copy in private pu publication by Audrey Evelyn Barnes. Why this all is so important? Because you must reach to the realm of composers in our lives. And this is important because we play music because we pay great respects on the composers. But for what? Do you respect Leo Nach because he perhaps talked in his latter life to a wife of other man? Or do you find some intimate spiritual connections in his reportedly one-sided love affair? Was that lady? Is that that all too one-sided? As it is always quoted in the Nautic's short biographies. I don't know the answer to this question. However, I at least would like to share my time with the composer, inc 
composer including Larry Nardic in case I will study his music or play his compositions because I believe that that is an act of paying respect to his greatness. We stay humble in front of composers by doing this all. As we see composers' works, some unseeable greatness which benefits our lives and our society. And that is music. Thanks for listening.